All right, so we have the user interface and all the visual elements pretty much complete. Now we need to move on to the JavaScript. All right, now we're using the local storage API to store the to-dos in our to-do list. And it's just something that I need to kind of explain before we move forward. Uh, traditionally, we have a local storage We'll have a local storage variable, let's say dot name, and we can set that to a value such as Brad. All right, so uh, by default, local storage variables hold strings. Okay, now what we want to do is basically have one local storage variable, and we'll call it to dos. All right, and I'm not doing any programming right now. I'm just just this is just to show you we're not going to have a, a local storage variable for each to do item um, it, it just wouldn't work like that especially if we want to add more fields to each to do uh, it's just not efficient so what I want to do is store a JSON array uh, that contains JSON objects and each object will be a to do and we'll have uh, set fields. Okay, so we're only doing the name and the date, but you could add more in the future. All right. So the issue with this is that when you're using local storage, you can you can't natively store an array inside of a local storage variable. It has to be a string, such as Brad. All right. So to do this, we need to use uh, a couple different functions. All right. But first, let me just show you what this variable will look like. Or what the value will look like. Okay, so basically it's going to be set to an array, uh, and inside the array we'll have uh, JSON objects, which will be wrapped in curly braces. So let's say we'll have a, a key called to do name, and then that would have a value, something like pick up kids. All right, and then we'd have a comma, and then the next uh, key to do date, and then that would be uh, some date like this. All right, and then the next to do would have the same thing. It'll have the name. All right, so that's how we're going to store our to dos. Uh, and the reason for this is basically so we can iterate through them and print them out on the home page uh, so we can so we can do different things with them alright so I just wanted to show you the kind of format we'll be using as for as for the parsing uh, of, of JSON through local storage uh, there's a really good post on stackoverflow.com uh, that kind of shows you what we're doing here you can see we have uh, a JSON object here inside of a variable and we're gonna set a local storage item called test object and we can't just throw this in here we have to use this uh, JSON dot stringify function and basically that's gonna turn that into a string that we can store inside of this local storage object alright and then to retrieve it you can see he's creating a variable and setting it to uh, local storage dot get item just like we would any any local storage item but when we use it we're going to use this JSON dot parse function to, to so we can display it out or do log it or whatever we're going to do with it okay so we're going to be using these two functions JSON dot stringify and JSON dot parse all right so Now we have a blank main.js file, all right? So that's where we're going to do all of our JavaScript. Now I want to start with the add functionality, all right? So basically we want some a handler, and if we go back to our HTML and we go to the add page, uh, we have it so that when we click the save button, it's going to submit the form with the ID of add form. Okay, so that's what we want to use in our JavaScript when when that form is submitted. Okay, so to add a to do, 
we want that form so add form and we're gonna say when it is submitted we're gonna call a function uh, and what we want to do is get the values of the two fields of the the name and the date and if we look at our form we can see that the inputs have an ID of to do name and to do date so let's get those values first before we do anything we'll say get submitted values and let's create variables for them so to do name and we're gonna set that to the element with the ID of to do name and we can't just do this we need to use dot val Okay, that's going to get the value. Same thing with the date. Well, there should only be one equal sign. All right, so that's going to give us whatever the user submits. Now, let's do a little bit of form validation. We're not going to do nothing crazy, just a couple checks. Okay, so we'll say simple field validation. Um, basically, let's first check and see if the to do name is, is filled out. So basically, check if it's blank. So we'll say if to do name is equal to nothing, then let's just give an alert. And I'll just say, please give the to do a name. All right, and then we're going to say, else if, else if to do date is equal to nothing. Please add a date. Okay, so checking just to see if there's anything filled out. All right, and that's all we're going to check for uh, right now. Obviously, you could do more, but um, again, this is very simple. Very simple app. Uh, so then we're going to say else, which means that the name and the date have been filled out. So now, what do we want to do? Now we're going to um, actually. We want to first um, just check and see if there's anything inside of our to do's local storage variable. Okay, so I'm going to say variable, variable to do's, and then we're going to use that JSON uh, dot parse function that we talked about. And then in here, we're going to say local storage, uh, local storage dot get item. And we're going to look for the item called to do's. All right, so that'll put that in this to do's variable. Now we want to check and see if there actually is anything in it. So we can check by seeing if it's null. Actually, wait a second. Check. So we can say if to do's is equal to null. Basically, if it's not there, then we're going to create an empty array. All right, so now what we're going to do is create a new array with our new values. Okay, so create array with new to do. Okay, so variable new to do is going to be equal to basically a JSON object with two fields to do name to 
to do date. And obviously we're putting in there whatever the user submitted, uh, which comes from these variables. Okay, so there's our new array. What we want to do now is push this array into, or push this object into the to-dos array. Okay, so under here, uh, we can use the push function. So we'll just say to-dos dot push. Okay, so the, the main array is to-dos, but we want to push in this new array, which just has our two new values. Okay, so I'm just putting here, new to-do. All right, and then finally we want to set the item. So local storage dot set item. Okay, and we want to set to do's. And this is where we're going to use the stringify function. So JSON dot stringify to do's. All right, so let's save this. And let's see if this works right off the bat. I'm going to open my Chrome tools because I want to be able to see my local storage. So if we click on the resources tab and then local storage, you can see that we have no nothing here, no key value pair. All right, so let's go ahead and add it to do. All right, so I'm going to click save, which should run our, our click handler. All right, now we might have to reload. All right, so something went wrong. Let's try that again with the console. Huh. All right, let's go ahead and look at this. All right, so what's going on is that we're trying to run this submit function uh, before the actual HTML is loaded. You can see we have our jQuery, um, we have our JavaScripts up here before the content. And we could just cut this out and put the, the scripts at the bottom, uh, but instead we can use the document.ready function. And what that does is it won't run this until the page is loaded. Okay, so it's a jQuery document dot ready and then we're going to run a function when it's ready okay and then we're just going to copy everything we have and put it in there all right so let's try this now okay so resources local storage let's try and add something All right, perfect. So now you can see under local storage, we have our key, which is to do's, and then we have a value, which is basically an, uh, an array with one object, with one to do object, uh, which has a, a to do name and a to do date. All right, now if we go and add another, Now you can see that that has also been added. All right, so as we keep adding to do's, this array will just keep growing bigger and bigger. We won't keep adding new local storage variables. Uh, that wouldn't be very efficient. This is a, just a much better way to do it. All right, so that's it for adding them. In the next video, we'll take this static list we have, get rid of that, and then we'll insert we'll loop through these to-dos in the array and insert them into the list items.